Hey everyone, welcome back to Remember This Tech. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing review of the ASUS Prime B550 Plus motherboard. It's a full ATX motherboard and I've used it in a build before and it worked really good. So I figured I might do a full unboxing review of it and it supports DDR4. It says right on the box, AMD Ryzen 5000 desktop ready. And I've used this board, not this one, this is a brand new one. I've used this board before and it's supported and recognized a, a 5600G right out of the box. No problems. It says Windows 11 ready and it is because I've actually uh, been notified on my other board that hey, this B550 Prime ASUS board is eligible to upgrade to Windows 11. So I can tell you that as of now, the recording date, that it is Windows 11 ready from personal experience. It's got PCI Express 4.0 slot. It's got Aura Sync, which means you can sync up your RGBs from the motherboard. On the back, we can see that it highlights USB 3.2 Gen 2. It's got a number of those and I'll show you those when I break the board out of the box. Five times protection, three for, for the core, surge protection, over voltage protection, stable power supply, and, and stainless steel IO plate. I'll just run down a really quick listing of the ports here. Uh, one display port, audio jacks, one HDMI port, one, one Realtek RTL 811H Ethernet, uh, and has an optical SPDIF out, which is pretty good. I mean, some of these boards don't have optical out, so that's a plus, right? Three USB 3.2 Gen, Gen 2 ports. It's got one Type A one USB type C, four more USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, and two USB 2.0 ports. That's pretty generous for the amount of USB connectivity ports you have there, so that's pretty nice. Um, it has gigabit Ethernet, Ethernet port, Asus LanGuard, and TurboLAN. It has a dis Display port 1.2 spec on the board, as well as one HDMI uh, 2.1 spec at 4K 60 hertz. This particular board supports, or states it supports, the Ryzen 5000 series, 4000 G series, and the 3000 desktop processor series. So if you have any of those chips, technically it will support them. This board has four DDR4 DIMM slots, supporting up to a total of 128 gig of DDR memory. It supports up to 4,800 megahertz overclock RAM, and it has a total of two M2 um, NVMe slots on this board, and six SATA 6 gigabits per second port. Check out this quick breakdown of the motherboard and from the manufacturer's website here. Without further ado, let's open it up. Let's see what's in the box, and let's investigate this some more. Here we have the board in a standard um, NSI bag. We'll check that out in a minute, but Let's check out what's in this box itself first. Now, you have a full motherboard and user guide, which is very unique in today. Which is very unique because nowadays you don't see this much. A full paper book guide of the motherboard and how to set it up. That's a plus, right? And another plus, a DVD with all the chipset drivers in case you have flaky internet or you're the type of person who just wants to plop it in there and put it in and go. That's a plus, right? Um, what do we have here? 
stuffed away, we have SATA connectors cables, one right angle and one straight, so there's two in total. And what else do we have here? IO shield, NVMe standoffs, and two NVMe screws. So that goes for both of your standoffs on your motherboard, which is nice. Now let's put this away and I'll get into the board really quick. So here we have the board, the ASUS Prime B550 Plus motherboard. Right off the bat, you can probably see that this motherboard has some fairly substantial VRM heat sinks here. And that's because the B550 series has a better standard or better, a more capable VRM um, setup than let's say the 520 boards. And this will allow you a better overclocking headroom in case that's what you want to do. You can see right here, the PCI Express slot is metal reinforced. In case you got a beefy graphics card, you know, you won't have this problem where it's bending and stuff like that. So at least in theory, that's what it is. And it has a standard release. It doesn't have the quick release like my other um, Asus board Intel does. But there's two uh, <clears throat> PCI Express 16 slots here. And over here, you'll see right here, your first NVMe slot. And then one down here is your second. There are no heat sinks for this board for the NVMe, so just something to note. A number of PCI Express 1X slots, three to be exact, and your various IO headers, audio, USB headers on the bottom of the board. You got an LED strip here, and it is yellow, and it runs down the length of the board. Um, if you see on the side here, got six SATA ports. It's pretty standard nowadays, right? And your regular slot socket for your AM4. And if you notice, there's your four color-coded RAM slots. Would suck if I dropped it, right? Don't jinx myself. Um, over here, you can see the audio out and the SPDIF right here. And then all of your various connectivity ports, cabinet NIC, I mean, and then you have your USB 3.2 slots, your your HDMI, and your, um, your display port adapter. Also, you see you have a USB-C connector as well, which is nice. Why would you want to get a B550 motherboard like this one versus, let's say, a 520 or a 320 or something like that, or, you know, an A-series motherboard? For one reason, this comes out right at the top of my head, beefier VRMs, better heat sinks on them. Um, also, you have a little bit better quality build, and you also have the ability to overclock, you know, auto-tune, overclock, the Ryzen Master, all that stuff you can use. And most of these boards, you can overclock an integrated graphics uh, processor like the Vega 7, Vega 11 on your chip if you have a 5600G, 3200G, etc. So there's a plus in that too. Um, and you have more expandable slots as well on this board. So you can get these boards ranging from 109 to 129, depending on where you find them on sale. So that's my review and unboxing of the Asus Prime B550 motherboard. So if you like this video, hit, make sure to hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out. And you don't want to miss any upcoming content for this board and other things that you definitely don't want to miss. So thanks for watching. Remember this tech.